the floor made up in robot. I've always been a fan of SpongeBob SquarePants. It's my comfort show in many ways, the adventures of SpongeBob never get old, at least to me. One thing that I've been keeping in my head for a while is some weird thing that happened to me a month ago. I was making space for some new things and had to dump a lot of old DVDs from 2006. On the way to the bin, I heard a loud continuous banging sound. It was one of my SpongeBob DVDs. It had fallen down the stairs just as I was going to go to my room to grab some more clutter. Now don't worry, I'm not going to stretch this story out too much. But I've been a SpongeBob fan for almost all my life. I love watching SpongeBob's misadventures and such. It just never gets old, but it got out of hand fast when, in 2005, SpongeBob DVDs started filling up my room like crazy. I knew I had to declutter at least a little bit of it. I was carrying a big big box of SpongeBob DVDs to the end of the hallway so I could go back and get more. Right as I passed the stairs, I heard another loud continuous banging sound. I dropped the box at the end of the hallway and went to check it out. Alas, one of the DVDs has fallen down the stairs and suffered a lot of damage. I had watched a lot of videos on corrupted tapes and stuff, so I was a little bit excited to see what it looked like. So, after I cleaned up the other tapes, I watched the corrupted one. Just as expected, it was a jumble of random colors and loud crackling sounds. I was pausing and playing like crazy to see something interesting until I got what I wished for. The frame is the usual at first sight, random episodes merged into each other, except for one. It was a frame from Krusty Towers, the scene where SpongeBob had just been pulled out of the toilet, but his face was different. It's hard to see through the pixel stuff, but I saw pitch black eyes with weird white and tall pupils. The weird eyed SpongeBob melted into the pixels very quickly, just like a lot of things in the corruption. It was creepy, to say the least, but I still like SpongeBob. This was just a weird experience I had a couple years ago, and I thought I would tell you guys.